In this video, we're going to learn all about shared memory creation, in particular, shimget, which is the function call that we're going to use in order to do our shared memory creation. To start off with, we're going to want to have a key. There are several ways to get the key, um, but for, for our intents and purposes, we're just going to create the key. And so you can see here that I've set the key equal to 99999. Um, that, that's going to give us a shared memory segment attached to that key. We're also going to need the segment ID, which is going to be used as the return value of shemget um, after it tells us the shared memory associated with that key. Now, shmget is the function call that we're going to use. We need to pass it several things. First, we need to pass it the key. So that's the key that's going to kind of tell us which shared memory spot to get, more or less. The second thing we need to pass it is how large is the space of shared memory that we actually want. In this particular program I have a struct called my object and what I do here is I get the size of my object. My object turns out to be an int and a float so it's about eight bytes big so this is the same as saying hey give me eight bytes of shared memory. If you would like to have say ten of this struct my object then you could you could call size of my object times 10 and it would give you 80 bytes or space for 10 of your objects. The last parameter is probably the most complicated. Um, IPC create says hey create this particular piece of shared memory um, and if it's already there then just give me the segment ID of the shared memory that's already there. You can also OR in some other options. For example, if you are creating the piece of shared memory, then you OR, this is a single line or a pipe, it's a bitwise OR, you OR in the permissions that you would like. Remember, these permissions are in the typical octal codes of Linux. So 7 refers to read, write, and executable permissions. Um, and they are lined up in three groups. The first is ownership permissions, and then group permissions, and then world permissions. So this 775 here refers to the fact that the owner will have full permissions rewrite and execute, the group will have full permissions rewrite and execute, and the world will have read and execute permissions. So the world generally would refer to anyone else that's on this same particular machine. So passing these three things in, I'll get a piece of shared memory that is associated with this key 99999 has the size of my object and it will be created if it wasn't already there if it was already there then I'll just get the segment ID of the thing that's there now you can also or in this piece here this IPC underscore EXCL which this IPC underscore EXCL says that if the creation actually fails and usually that happens because uh, the piece of memory already exists but for whatever reason if it already exists and you have IPC EXCL ORed into your options list then shimget will actually fail. Now usually if the piece of memory already exists and you can attach to it then shimget will succeed but with IPC EXCL it will fail. Um, the shimget returns negative one on failure and so you should handle failure as you would any other system call. Okay, that's it for me. Good luck with your shared memory.